So what's going on guys, welcome to my tutorial Adobe Premiere Pro CC. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to create a custom workspace. And I would say this is one of the most important things to do when you start a project in Premiere Pro. Once you have the layout that you want to use in Premiere Pro, it will be a time saver. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to Window and I'm going to select Workspace. And over here you see that editing is selected. But up here I have Adobe EC2 selected. This is the workspace that I like to use. I have my projects panel on the left hand side. You can scroll through and see a nice preview of it. The right hand side here we zoom in and the reason why I like this workspace is because even when I'm editing audio I can see the left and right channel I can see a very detailed view or as detailed as it could be in Premiere Pro of the audio so I really like this layout now if I scroll up I can also see the various viewpoints of the audio layers and the video layers I can also make adjustments. So even if you want to make more adjustments, you can do that. Now, the reason why this is important is because, especially when you're editing video and audio at the same time, you want to get a nice preview of it. If you're working at like a default viewpoint like this, it's just very hard to control everything. Maybe when you want to piece things together, you can do something like this, and you want to put everything together. But when I'm editing individual pieces of audio and video, this is the viewpoint that I like. Now, if you guys want to do something else, you can start selecting different panels. You know, I can select Windows and then Effects. You can add that to the panel layout here. You can also select, you know, Effects Controls. It all depends on what you're working on. But once you get the preview that you like, all you have to do is select Window and then Workspace, and then you can select New Workspace. Once you select New Workspace, you can delete this, name it to what you want, and then press OK. And then once you do that, all you have to do is select Window, workspace and then you can select your custom workspace from here. I have Adobe Easy 2 this is what I showed you before and this is the workspace that I like to use. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys found this tutorial useful. If you like this video give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Cheers.